You're okay, so now let me ask you a question. What does this have to do with anything here? I didn't click on Obama's or anything like this. What the fuck this got to do with the daytime changes? What the fuck is this about? And it's the news I targeted because when I opened this shit first, when I opened this shit first, that's the video it played, but it didn't make sense because that's actually the video that should play. And you have to admit, this is really provocative, insane shit. When you click on permanent daylight saving times and you get this kind of video, for which, by the way, I was brainwashed. It's going to be a psychiatry against me and I don't know what the fuck. Uh, this can be... As disturbing as crazy people that you see right there. Because normal these people are not. They portray themselves like a normal people, but they are not held accountable for the crimes they do. Because it appears that the impact they make on the numbers is so positive that crimes against individuals are simply pardoned by United States of America government. That's at least what it appears. But this is not his fault solely. It's probably this man that's got the least to do with it. He was handled by the hatred, by more than hatred. He was handled by the British, by the Buckingham Palace, British pounds, money. That's what got him. Um, you got to admit that this news doesn't have anything to do with the bomb. So, how the hell do you push this in my mouth, basically? That doesn't have anything to do with Obama. Senate unexpectedly approves a legislation to make a daylight saving time permanent. And that's what I always thought. I always thought... No, 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 this, this news here, the rude awakening of permanent daylight saving and exactly the picture that you see right there, it's what they demonstrated me. Uh, Yahoo is a broker for the Moscow, for these politicians that you see, elites, elites, I wouldn't call them elites, these are, these are dumpsters, literally, these are trash. It's just the people that take like normal, like uh, understandable. It's totally like normal. They can get away with crime, basically. That's what this is. This, this shit, this is not, these are not elites. To be an elite, you have to be more than a gangster. You have to be more than a criminal thug. But in this case here, how far did this crime goes? You know, that's exactly what I was demonstrated. This guy that you see here, and that's going to be you. It's going to be a psychiatric hospital. Well, what exactly happened? What exactly happened about the rude awakening? Who, who is disturbed so much? Well, let me demonstrate to you what exactly happened. Hey, for some reason I keep getting disconnected. That's kind of a weird signal. I don't understand why the signal would be so low. The router is downstairs and I'm right now in the kitchen area. Um, I usually don't have this kind of signal. There is no wind inside of the house I would be aware of. Um, yet, this is just a situation and all of a sudden, look at that. The internet signal is boosted, like just like this. Well, I don't know, is it somebody downstairs or not? Uh, the doors are locked. Before you get down, uh, I wouldn't even do this shit because this computer is a completely controlled tool. This computer is remotely controlled tool that anyone 
with access to this computer can modify including my videos and audios and they did not only browsers not only closing me browsers when I watch something when I do something in the middle of it it just closes down when I write the news they close me browsers it's a crazy shit that goes on with this computer uh, but it was guess what I'm used to it because it was with like this with every other computer it was like always like this this what I'm experiencing right now despite all the stuff that I just have stated to you this is a hallelujah this is nothing actually this is a fun time this is a good time oh look at that now troubleshoot problems tell me more about internet connection problems so what the hell is this all about huh and look at that now you have a net gear all the way the signal somebody somebody just maybe really is downstairs and uh I'm not going to go downstairs. Um, what I wanted to demonstrate to you, as soon as this dummy connects, or basically, let me demonstrate this. Yeah, it's a router downstairs that somebody's doing this shit, either, or even more likely what I think it is. Oh, look at that, look at, look at the strength of the signal all of a sudden. All of a sudden it's getting boosted at the signal. Okay, so let's go. Let's go back. And uh, what exactly happened today that, 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 that about the daylight savings? What exactly happened? My mama told me because I was going to go to the city and I was going to use the father's car. Uh... Okay, she would not allow me, she would not allow me to use, simply she would not allow me to use the car from the father who apparently is demented and this and that, let me just, in a, in, in a brief, let me just finish. Uh, father had all kinds of scenarios against mama and mama had all kinds of scenarios against him uh all the way to how he's not going to be in this world anymore by may i was thinking it's going to be last year now it's this year um they came up with the dementia formula they came up with uh all kinds of criminal scenarios crazy bad crazy shit born in the heads of psychiatrists from Ljubljana, from here, from Novo Mesto. Police, Slovenian police. And they push the garbage in my head. It's the garbage that any normal person, just like I did, would disregard. You don't want to go for that kind of stuff. That's sick shit. But when you're jobless, forcefully jobless, you you are forced to a certain environment whether you like that or not and simply you are subjected to this shit because you don't have financial resources that you could use to depart from this environment no in my situation the issues are so insane that even if you go to the hospital to check yourself the physicians that tortured when you were drugged up, they did, would examine you and tell you that you, do, you don't suffer from any kind of, you don't have no problem, no health related problems, no nothing. You tell them shit like stuff that's actually alarming stuff. Uh, and even the stuff that you tell them, they interpret it on, uh, on, on, on the reports and, and so it goes basically uh, this is my life um, she wouldn't in short she wouldn't allow me to use the father's car 
And I asked her, how come? I said, but the father is demented. And you told me that I shouldn't even buy the car. In fact, that by May, this car is going to be mine. She said, yes, I did. I said, of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use the car. I should go and ask father, who is demented, according to her, if I can use the car. And when I, when I asked, when I told her, listen, you told me also some other stuff when you held me drugged up about the father, all that stuff. So how all that stuff that you told me about and I'm not allowed to use the car, basically, if it's all that and actually it's really nothing. And when I mentioned to her MK Ultra, she went straight and mentioned ambulance. I did not even mention her anything about the father, how he's going to be dead by May or something like this, with what she brainwashed me with. Downstairs is a clock, a big fucking clock. There was another one. She keep moving the clocks, and she told me when I was jerked up, the time. The time is going to be 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Now I see she changed downstairs. Now I see it's 10 o'clock. But she claimed on the MKH it's going to be 12 o'clock. And you know what it means, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. No, no, I don't know what that means. What that means is the father is not going to wake up one morning. Why? Why is he not going to wake up one morning? Because he's not exercising. Because he's not going to go for a walk. Because you're not going to take him for a walk. Because you're not going to do this. Because you're not going to do that. Because you're not going to, I don't know what the fuck you're not going to do. Oh, okay. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean after him. I'm going to prepare after him. Anything you want. But can you pay something little that I can use? And I will do all that stuff instead of you. Because you're disgusted with what you have to do in the mornings to clean after him and so on. You bitch about that stuff. She bitched me about this, that she doesn't want him anymore. I don't know what. Oh, uh, that's where the problem was. No, that will not be. So, okay. That's okay. So, I tell you what. You don't have to pay me anything. I'm going to still take him for a walk. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Anything you want. Take him out, it was yell time on me. She yelled at me that I don't know what I did, that I took him to the stores and I don't know what. That I'm trying to kill my father with taking him out for a walk, for an exercise. Father did stupid shit, ended up in the city where somebody who was arranged with a Serb instead would take him rather than at home after I told him that this is our residence here he took him to the old residence in the city because father started to act like he has a demand and all kinds of shit like this police back and forth that's still okay we can still work that somehow out but man taking him out doesn't want to go want to sleep all day long want to piss next to the toilet rather than in the toilet want to piss right at the entrance of my door to the, my room want to piss all over the hallway is spitting inside of the sink so it get clogged it's all good it's all good. We can put up, we can put up with all that shit. But man, breaking in my room, fucking me up. I have a broken pants, chopping me watch, fucking me things, I don't know how many things up. Everything he possibly could get a hold of. Whoa, that's a little bit difficult. That's a little bit difficult, man. That's a little bit difficult. Um, so, she told me today, Marco, do you want me to call the ambulance? Do you want me to call the ambulance? I told her, well, listen, I can call one for you. 
I said, do you know how the police lights look like? They're blue and... I can do that for you, I told her. Please tell me, advise me and I will do it for you. And so this is the type of environment we have. The type of environment we have is such in 2012, my mother and my father went ahead and pressed lies against me with the rest of the family. Just today I met the lady who had a dog, Schnauzer dog. Schnauzer dog, she was involved in MK Ultra and she had this Schnauzer dog. And the Schnauzer dogs, to me, to be honest with you, they are not, I don't know how pretty, I'm not crazy about them, I don't like really, I like more, probably dogs with a shorter hair, is what it is. Um, but I am a dogs person and cats person, uh, and I love children, but it's no fucking way you can get involved, you can, you can get along with this family, that's why I want them behind the bars. These people are overdue, should be behind the bars a long time ago already. But this Schnauzer, the dog she had with her, it was a beautiful dog, really beautiful. Beautiful to me because it was a Schnauzer, had these different characteristics and had a short hair because she always trims him. And that really appealed to me, but still I was afraid of the dog. I wouldn't play with that dog, I wouldn't play with it, because under MK Ultra I was brainwashed that this kind of dogs, schnauzers, it's not even a big dog, but they have a tendency to just go and bite, they're vicious. Well, my sister who claimed the other day, and I played you the video about the Roma people, how she tried to get me in trouble at the public place where they recorded everything to, she was not the only one recording this stuff, uh, gestured, you could hurt. Oh, I don't know if I did play with that. She talked about the guy that had a pit bull and that this guy was aggressive with this pit bull, that he would go and harass people, that he would go and harass her with her dog and she was afraid for his life and because of the shit he was doing, he was apparently doing that kind of stuff to other people too. Probably I have no idea what happened, either psychiatry or police, or I have no idea what, what happened with this guy. What I can attest is that when I came back from US after 11 and a half years I spent there, I never would come to Slovenia on my own. I was brought here all the time for torture, drugged up by the Central Intelligence Agency, but I never would come here. The dog my sister had, the Schnauzer, was completely insane. The dog would be inside of the car, uh, locked, whenever I would be outside in front of the house. Because as soon as the dog would see me, the dog would like a bull, you know? just wow into me a small dog but completely vicious completely insane regardless of what i would do and it's what my sister referred to me that i was bullying the dog i will explain to you why regardless of what i would do give him a cookie offer him a cookie or or whatever i would do i couldn't approach that dog the dog was mad, completely mad. He was already, when he was locked inside of the car, where he, she kept him whenever she would come. Um, if I would only approach to the car where the dog was inside, because the dog was barking like insane, like insane, like insane. And you could hear this on the videos from 2012, that the dog was completely insane. I don't know what else she did, but I'm going to explain to you what she was doing with me with that dog. The dog would start to grab seats 
from the car and fucking shoot him. Uh, he start to uh, get anything inside of the car to grab with the feet. You know that's fucking crazy. I know it's a schnauzer dog, but they're not that vicious. That's fucking impossible. The dog would be just that vicious. But guess what? I let it go, that stuff. But the other day when she mentioned about this dude that had a pit bull and this and that. This dude was a normal guy who disliked her just like her brother. That's myself. Nobody was as violent, as criminal as my inner circle of people, therefore my family. Nobody was as willing to assist Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor in crime against me. Vladimir Putin, Vucic, Serbs, Chetniks that were coming here. Nobody was as willing to assist. This was, this people, this family of mine, nobody was as criminal, as violent as they were. Nobody. I already talked to you about my mom, about my dad, but let me tell you about just about the dog, what my sister was doing. She was doing a whole pack of other stuff. But with the dog, I can recall clearly. She would use one to terrorize because the dogs, when you jerked up, they had German shepherds, they had pit bulls, they would have them launch at you, jump at you. And that's how she used her dog on me, the dog would just, how she's gonna release the dog and it's gonna tear you apart and I don't know what the fuck. Uh, you drugged up, even the dog of that size could do you harm. I'm a person is peaceful, tranquil, quiet person that rather takes his way, his side, moves away, moves aside, don't wanna have a conflict with the people, especially not with the sister. But my sister is, just what I stated it is. It was a beast. It was a beast and different from my father that he would have other people, police, to engage in interrogations with me when I was drugged up while he would be coming from the side and punching me in my kidneys. That's the kind of stuff he would do. And I wouldn't go about my mama about the stuff she was doing, but this is completely unacceptable environment for me, completely unacceptable to have these people around today to make myself clear. It's not that I, that something would be wrong with me. I avoid these people because I don't want to see them. I don't want to see my mother. I don't want to see my father. These people are overdue to be booked inside of the jail. Why the fuck are they here? Why are they here? Because they told me they will pay your bills. They will pay your bills. And they created a whole fucking set of conspiracy theories about father's dementia, about my mother's pressure, how it's going to be. If you're going to talk, it's going to be the pressure. And she had all kinds of shit. She was riding around here leaving notes, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of crazy stuff, just so I wouldn't go and publish the audio recordings during which father even claimed that my mother is not his wife, that she never was, that she's a city employee and all kinds of crazy, crazy, bad, crazy shit. All related to conspiracy theories they presented me uh, throughout MK Ultra. For me to finish this video, simply, uh, my mother, to put it plain and simple about this stuff, is paying the bills so that I can be jobless. In 2012, I rated her, if I go back, as completely unacceptable. Uh, I did call her names inside of the psychiatry hospital. 
I stated that I do not wish to eat food she prepares and part of the deal so upon return from Poland was my preparing meals myself my preparing meals myself just so because it was unacceptable that I don't eat whatever is prepared this is the kind of politic they run basically this is the politic they run and so that for everything that happens to me I could blame it myself now what happens to me is today I bought the sugar brown sugar inside of the store when I brought this sugar home I just started yesterday washing all the lemons washing all the apples before I peel them off washing the fucking sugar package but this is packed in a plastic like solid plastic it's a sugar brown sugar processed unprocessed sugar that's packed in a in a plastic that should not be fucking it should be vacuumed why because under MK Ultra they brainwashed me the guy they went as far as and I didn't it didn't click me until now the guy stated to me that you're gonna have to wash absolutely everything including packages including the apples including including whatever you're gonna peel whatever your skin you're gonna peel off from the fruit whatever you're gonna do you're gonna have to wash them first then you're gonna peel them and I was like why because the guy insisted me well it's still you still, still have this you still do you can hear still this I said what are you talking about why because you're gonna it's the poison is not gonna be inside of the uh, inside of the the food they, they're gonna you know what they're gonna do they're gonna poison your packaging they're gonna poison you fruits whatever you're gonna reach out and you're gonna peel you're gonna peel and it's gonna glue onto the fruit which is going to be peeled and you're going to eat this and it's going to be poisoning shit like this and said come on man I, go away this and that and he would turn around and he would say he doesn't believe me guys he doesn't believe me guys but today in the store when I came back and I did wash the package I still don't believe this shit but out of precaution because I have this going on for almost now five years and all these complaints to the physicians don't help none of them is willing to actually assist they were not willing to assist in Poland they were not willing to assist in Slovenia I washed this sugar and guess what the water went inside and my surprise is I was like how fuck is water because I brought home there was no there was no sign of anything punctured because it would be punctured it would be sugar around but I suppose that there was a hole a very very tiny hole water was all over this sugar I'm actually drawing one placed one on, ra on a radiator because the water went all over inside this is the packaging this shit is thick thick vinyl vinyl it shouldn't go inside but let me explain to you about the fucking stores it's a store right next to psychiatry it's Peter Kopsch who was involved in this it's a store I'm talking about right next to the police the store it's called Eurospin but this is a problem is not about store itself it's Italian store I think it's the best store anyways that's what I think I think this Italian chain of stores I think they're the most affordable far most affordable and in respect to the quality numbers of the therefore versatility of the items they are supplied with they offer to the consumer I think is the best store value 
uh, interval price to uh, value you of your purchase in that store is right on the top better than German stores better than Slovenian far better than Slovenian stores it's just a store that if you don't have especially if you don't have the money you will go to now it's a little shit I buy in that store because I don't have the job luckily for me I would buy this I would buy let's say cocoa and that's all I would buy I wouldn't buy anything else that's all I would buy and now let me explain to you about the employees inside of that store employees inside of the Tush that's a Slovenian store uh, and employees at well and employees in Hofer, employees in Lidl, the German stores. They would do all kinds of stupid shit in Lidl, in Hofer, they would do all kinds of stupid stuff, but they never had a guts to go out and tell me that they will poison the stuff that based on whatever we will observe you consume whenever you're gonna go to the store we're gonna make sure that it's gonna be poisoned they did this stuff in a touche that's a Slovenian store they never did any of that in Mercator the most expensive Slovenian store for which they wanted me to become customer of. Uh, that's because that's a Milan Kuchan, that's a Borut Pahar store, basically. Um, they poisoned, literally poisoned, through the Tush store. Mother purchased some kind of chocolates for which I was told how sick they're gonna make you. She purchased them, but according to MK Ocho, she had to purchase them. Whatever poison she placed on the table, stuff that I would be sensitive to, that they acknowledge is, is, is poison, poisonous from the local stores, supplies. Whatever they rated that caused me uh, health problems in whatever condition they have done, I have no idea what's going on, really, to tell you the truth. They evaluated, and she always was use a clause. The stuff that I bring, that I put, that, that I do this, that I do that, do not eat, do not eat, that's a poison. Okay. We go to the fucking fridge, you're gonna see a mayonnaise, you're gonna see shit like this, you're gonna see all kinds of shit that will fucking kill you. But don't worry about that because I acknowledge that stuff is a garbage under MK Ultra. So basically, it's the stuff that other people like. And out of my own experience, I know that this is nothing else than a fat, the mayonnaise, this kind of shit. And then you have this kind of stuff from the pig. Uh, how do you call this? Like bacon? This shit is like mega fat. It's really not good. The honey I purchased. They told me, don't think that in honey, the poison cannot be sipped inside, they told me. The honey was good for some time. It made me real feel good. Or maybe there is something else they're doing. I mentioned the radiation. But with the time as I ate that honey, I started to get fucking sick. I couldn't take it anymore. So I don't know what exactly happened to that honey. You can tell, all I know is that you can tell the person but this pretty much is it.
this is the fucking fat you want to eat this one put yourself on a as a cancer patient put this shit in, on the bread and eat that one it's really delicious for you there is some wine here oh and there is a carrots and uh, there is eggs here but then basically that's it Yeah, you can have, you have, uh, I have a sardines that are frozen, maybe three months already in the fridge. There is chicken. The thing is, in 2012 I told these people, I acknowledge my mother with everything except not with the human inside the asylum, inside the mental hospital where they hospitalized me without any justification. I think it's not okay not to allow a person to work and fuck with him like this. I don't believe that kind of stuff. Excuse me. And it's exactly what psychiatry played. Mummy. They played on a mummy. They wanted a mummy. So for this mummy, they came up with the 1,000 and million scenarios. Why? You would say, why the fuck would they do this stuff? Hey, oh. Resorting me is the only way out through the mummy. Mummy is going to pay your bills as long as you're going to be compliant. As long as... If you're gonna say something against the Serbia, Russia, you're fucking dead anyways. That's, that was just it. And then you're now, Milan Kuchan and Bor Pahovac, Udba, it's a Serbia, the Chetniks, Slovenian Chetniks, and the police here that was involved. If you say this, then you're dead. Okay, so that's one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. But I still have a problem. And it's not that people love to cook for themselves, like my mother told me. And it's not that this would be used so I will learn what is healthy and what is not healthy. That's why they brainwashed me. They insisted on how I have to eat the fucking vitamins and learn from the food what is good and what is bad for me. That's why we're going to give you a cancer and you're going to evaluate and then you're going to stick to those rules. And we're going to be perfect without making any kind of errors. They make a whole fucking bullshit scenario. And you're gonna save yourself. You're gonna see, you're gonna feel so good. Yeah, everything is gonna be wonderful then. It, it wouldn't be any of that stuff if I had my old job, right? So, you know, mommy. Mommy. Such a mommy can be so unpleasant that you don't want to see her and not fucking dead. Then you stay closed all day inside of your room. You don't even want to eat next to them. You wouldn't want to eat on the opposite side of the table. You would have an old man, father, that does like this to you from the other side. You wouldn't want to sit at a kitchen and have mother walk around and do like this all the time. Stuff like this. For which, by the way, you were told that this, this is how you're going to be an artist, demented and stuff like this. You wouldn't want to fuck with the people like this. These people are seriously, serious hazard to health. Very serious hazard to health. I told you, nobody was more violent than my parents. Today, it's just she had a blast. She had this kind of blasts whenever they approve her. So then she has those blasts. It's not about the food. Basically, it's not about what I'm trying to say. Sharing the food with other people. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to meet women. Have my family uh, meet her basically father-in-law and mother-in-law and have a good fucking life but it's the shit like this i don't want to have 
around me. It's a shit like this that's overdue. It should be jailed. It should be booked already in the jail. And jailed. Shouldn't be around me no more. Not because of this stuff. Because these people did something else for 25 years. These people were beating me up, abusing me physically, psychologically. With other neighbors here. With the Slovenian government. And that's not okay. That's not acceptable, any of that stuff. Well, but it could be acceptable, actually. Because you have to identify the people. Remember, identifying people will help you prove that you are not insane. Oh, we are already identified, I don't know, to how many, close to how many people. I stopped publishing this shit. And frankly, this kind of kitchen doesn't smell to me good anymore as i stated these people should be booked inside of the jail already and so now we have coordination on one side is a poisoning and on the other side we have a people you come out to meet and they always make sure they push you the people that engaged in violence so that you who have to recall the people so you get the proofs about mk ultra you recall nothing but basically violence. And only if you are nice, then people will confirm that they actually maybe know you. That's the game, the mummy game from psychiatrists. So that you can always come back and beg for more. Food is like this. When I came from Poland, I was in heaven. There was food, chicken. Uh, when I would go to the stores, I would buy fish. Maybe twice. <laughs> when it comes to fish, listen, when it comes to fish, I don't know, but maybe in a year and a half, I don't know if I consumed uh, 15 kilo of it. No, I think 10 kilo maybe. I didn't eat any fucking fish. And that fish right there it sits inside of the fridge. Just like uh, pomegranate apples seated right here on the door stairs, on the stairways, till they rotten. The only fruit that I would eat, and it would make me feel good. But, and I paid out of my own pocket for that stuff too. But when you recall the shit, Literally through. We gonna do this to you. Because you laughed at Trump. Trump was sick. He ate two rotten pomegranate apples. And you were laughing at him. We gonna do that too. Okay, so let me go and pay the fucking money for that. <laughs> so you can come inside of the house. And get my fresh pomegranates and maybe deliver me rotten ones from the store. It's good business for you. Because they're quite expensive here too. So that you can demonstrate to me how I can fuck myself eating rotten pomegranates. Ah, oh, you're gonna talk against Serbia, against Milan Kuchin, then will we you know you what you do? Like this. Uh, uh, uh. And what? It's been a rotten. <sighs> That's not a healthy environment. I don't know how the fuck these people inside of the stores work in there like that. How the fuck you have people that claimed they're gonna poison the food, they're gonna do the stuff like this, and they work inside of there. How the fuck you have a people that 
promised me next to the Belarus guy will get clothing destroyed, either destroyed or old clothing, worn out clothing, the clothing that the Belarus guy that happened used and they would put that stuff on a special price and you go inside of the store and you buy a brand new one the same shit like delivery through the eBay or AliExpress for which they told me it's gonna be the case you buy a brand new one and under MK to the demonstration you see this shit you see this shit you see this shit you see this shit yeah but you see this but can you repair this you think we could repair this we could do this we could do that no this is no good this is no fucking good well, you're going to see, you're going to see. <laughs> yeah, so you go and you order. Oh, don't worry about it, Sergey. Don't worry about this one. Don't worry about that one. Don't worry about that one. We're going to get you his. We're going to get you a new one. Yeah, what that means, what it means is that you go to the store you get a 50% discounted rate, you bring home, new, the next day, they switch you with some old piece of shit. That's what the fuck that means. That's, that's all there is. And, but but who, who the fuck is doing that kind of stuff, man? Who the hell is going in there and doing that kind of stuff? Well, my father did fucked recently with door handles a little bit too much and I just don't know how many of the photos I took lately from the door handle that is just always 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 unscrewed I have all kinds of garbage in here that recorded there is nothing other than crime. Yay. This stuff here, this is just... Yeah. 800 meters toward the city from this residence. It's the only way you could get there. It says sick fuck. You see that? And then you have over there Sergey and stuff like this. That kind of stuff. But that's okay. Under the bridge. I don't even know if I have this shit here. The door handle is very, very important, I was told. Because the door handles, <laughs> I remember how they used to pick me up at night when I would go sleep. You know, would just disappear too often times. Well, father, fuck with that. Who, 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 who goes inside of this, inside of the room? Who goes inside of the room? I'm gonna tell you who the fuck goes inside of the room. I didn't. I was not lucky. But I bought a brand new locks from China, and it's just a stupid thing to do. And that's what the father is desperate every time it's unscrewed but it's also other people that go inside too because when we did go together to the stores it was other people that would go inside and they would leave me signs that they were inside like i lost gloves let's say at Tashkagara. lost them by talking to an individual and once i proceeded from an individual i realized the gloves were gone they disappeared Next day, I went to the store with the mother, and the gloves appeared right on the table when I returned back from the store. So, you know, they make sure that they remind you of that shit. It's not only parents, but nobody has more access to the room than parents have. They switch. They simply switch. It's a police officer here, just one house two houses from here it's a burger here it's collins here 
it's the whole street here that was involved in crime. Quota is right here. My mother goes to the neighbor, they give her the item, she has, I don't know how many fucking keys, and goes inside and that's it. What's the point? Point is that I bought the keys, locks, from China. She got a hold of them the second fucking day. What's the point of going and changing the lock when she already had the fucking lock? You waited on for one month to come from China. It, it's, it's no fucking sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's actually even worse because the packages, I just got the watches again, very cheap. But it was exactly according to the scenario. One watch was, was broken, uh, already arrived, broken, destroyed. And the watches you can see are used in the, in the, in the back. It scratches and shit. Just like I was told exactly the case is gonna be. I know, I bought from China four watches for seven euros, something like this, or eight euros, let's say. I did so because there's a single watch here in the city that costs the cheapest one, it's eight euros. So I figured out from China you can get four for that price. And for the watch that doesn't work, Chinese, all true, the damage was done in Slovenia. Nobody else does this shit. I already have refunded the money. So no worries, it's always better way through China than any other way. But here's the point. I'm still trying to make the point about this shit. The environment itself, it's so toxic that I don't even want to fucking eat, prepare food for myself anymore, not because I would be lazy. I love cooking, I love cooking, just like I love children, and I love dogs, animals, cats, but holy fuck, hey, 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 these people are trying their best to make my life hate life under MK Ultra for no, le no less than 27 years is when this inner circle the parents engage with my niece with my sister in crime against me with the psychiatrists with the chief of the police previous who became director of the police of the Slovenia and the guy who replaced him this is just Crime unlimited. So guess what happens? It's not about the food the mommy cooks anymore. You lose the will to go cook for yourself too. If I give you the recordings, the shit, the, what the water bill, it's a 100 euros, my mother claims. My, maybe it's 10, I don't know, but she claims it was 100 and shit like this no special food for you what the fuck eh? and what is the special food the fucking sardines i buy one kilo for three euros that's why this fucking sardines already sit in there for three months because everything started to stink everything stinks this isn't about me being lazy, not want to or do this or that. I work. I do cancer. I do broken spine. Those are the qualities you don't get by copy-paste, copy-pasting from other journalists, from other people, like most of the journalism is. I work. Even that I don't get paid shit, I do the stuff that other people don't. And it's the work that has impact on nations, on people, on people that make decisions, because it is exposing certain things. Of course, not everything, but does certain things good for some that hopefully can have something out of this, because I do believe in people. 
Jesus stated, I'm a people's person, I'm animal's person. And some people just don't want me to be as such. I'm just saying, I'm just clarifying these issues. Um, I'm just clarifying these issues about... Yeah, I know. i supposed to come back home uh, from the city where I went. Yeah, I bought car, used car, exactly as I was told. The case is going to be four times. And then you can throw the keys away. Eventually, it's going to be really expensive to even... I don't know how to say that. Odiabiti. That means uh, signed off your vehicle. You have to return the license plates and stuff like this. Very expensive shit right now for me. With a broken car right in front of the house, of which keys disappear one week earlier. I posted the video about Tashkagora. One week earlier, the keys would disappear and appear back in my pocket in a such a way that I could see that the key was open. Then it was oil under the car and all that other stuff that I stated. That's the people I'm around with, basically. This is, like I said, I work. I do my stuff. I work. A little bit difficult when you're told by the people like this that you don't work. People that basically lifted the society I suppose that with their work but lived out of my handouts like a parasites and now I'm talking about the society out of my handouts this society here got renewed, modernized machinery for entire Kirka Pharmaceutical Company through this case. They got the markets lit like a parasites out of my own handouts and treat me below animal status, basically. And there you go. That's a game from the Slovenian psychiatrist, Slovenian police, and my inner circle here, which I told you about, is the most abusive criminal family people that were involved ever in my case. That's a magic circle. Psychiatry, Slovenian police, Slovenian politicians, the number one shackles on my hands. I'm not Britney Spears, by the way. That's a fucking lie, big one, too. Those are my parents here. This case is real. I have not received a dime of support from anyone. Since 2008, when I started all this stuff. Since 2008. That's 14 years. Not through the PayPal. Not through the Patreon. Not through my banking accounts. Not through any fucking shit. You get it. This is the real deal. This is the real shit. And I work for my stuff. And I'm saying this because the guy who was involved in MK Ultra since 96. I have a talk with him the other day. Not even a week ago. And he asked me what the fuck I do for a living. Maybe. You don't want to talk to me anymore. If you don't know what the fuck I'm doing for a living and you're involved in this stuff since 1996, why the fuck you talk to me about it? If you don't know, I don't know who, who will know. You caused, you were part of this shit, part of this crime. And you ask me what the fuck I do for a living. 
Okay, this is just a reality. Now you're watching a reality. Reality from the Britons, from the British, from the Buckingham Palace who told me, the guy around whom everything dies, everything he touches turns into the dust. Wow, how impressive the fuck that is. How impressive that is. And look just whom they have done this stuff. Well, yes, because the politic of Romanos from London is the mirror of the Moscow. So it does make sense. It does make sense. Until the world is going to realize, acknowledge this, and stand up, what started with me, I told you, heard nothing, saw nothing, know nothing, became a COVID-19 a global conspiracy nobody knew about is was coming right even the whole planet knew about was coming and then you had ukraine a little bit i don't know entire world feels like was not affected all through the entire world is affected by this shit. just wait that it knocks on your door you will feel just how much you are affected because Romanovs in Moscow help Romanovs in London, just like Romanovs in London help Romanovs in Moscow. You will get fucked. You understand that. And so it goes. So it goes. For the stuff that you know is going to happen, and you don't know, and you didn't know, and so it's growing. And so it's growing, and so it's growing. So what keeps you from talking? What keeps you from not asking me stupid questions? What keeps you from saying what may be, you would even say, unless you're in it for business, because this is how Buckingham Palace were buying people like this. What keeps you, let's say, what, what keeps you from saying what otherwise, maybe, just maybe, you would say. What keeps you? Today, a Ukraine supply of, of weapons. It doesn't matter what they created on a Russian side against Ukraine. All the weaponry, the tanks, modernized Russian military, equipped one, got economy running, delivered cash, money so they could go on with the war. The worse it gets, the worse that is, that string is tied, the more you're gonna need them. Either way you play. It doesn't matter whether you play on this side or on that side or whatever side. That's basically is what keeps you from what otherwise maybe you would even say what took place in my case. But that still doesn't do good to you, my friend, because just as I stated, it doesn't really matter where you are, even if you even if you think you're not, <laughs> you definitely are affected. You just don't feel yet. But when reality kicks your shit, you will know, you will acknowledge. If not with Ukraine, you were with the COVID, and I don't care where you are. There was a lot of people that also perished and all kinds of stuff. Because this is reality. This is reality. This is not a fucking TV. This is not a journalist that have uh, the stories based on clusterfuck next to the main agenda so that one would be as least visible as possible. This is a real journalism. This is the real stuff. When you do the stuff like this, you get cancer. You get broken spine. That's when shit happens. This is, a, this is reality. This is a real stuff. 
So that's all I wanted to, to clarify for this video today. It was almost, I'm going to say, close to perfect day because I published this stuff here where I stated Slovenia as a nationality, as a state, from a legal point of view, does not even exist. And I pointed out that in year 2003, due to national disgrace, due to omitting own national disgrace, due to intention to hide, to omit me, they went ahead and they even disbanded what otherwise was Slovenian territorial defense. Slovenian territorial defense was not a regular military, but it consisted of civilians which already have served in the military. We used to be a republic in Federation of Yugoslavia. And only under circumstances if there would be a threat from the enemy, from the outside, that would endanger the well-being of our people, this territorial defense, which was, I'm not going to say replacement, but it was, um, it served just, unlike military, like Slovenian military, was disbanded in 2003. Further, they have disbanded obligatory military service in Slovenia. I did that military service in Slovenian military, in army, and I was really, really proud about it. I think that the country with only 2 million people, not even 2 million people, should have people trained on how to use weapons. I do believe that if there is an enemy, people have to be prepared to defend their national interests. And so, because we have a politicians, as I stated, and we still have, these are the politicians that demanded from our territorial defense, from our Slovenian military to disarm themselves during attack on Slovenia by the Serbia and hand weapons to the enemy. These are the people who hijacked anywhere from Slovenian first Slovenian presidency and all the way to what they turned into after disbanding Slovenian territorial defense, after taking away um, obligatory military service. These are the people who hijacked police and what became a, known as a professional military. And they have done this so that the people of Slovenia, and I earlier mentioned this territorial defense, couldn't as I insisted them, I keep asking them for the Slovenian ter territorial defense to act on behalf of Slovenian constitution whenever I was brought here and have the police officers arrested. Well, Slovenian civilians who had the right to arms under the circumstances, if the nation would feel threatened, they would go to the depots where they have weapons and they would hand the people weapons out and that's what Slovenian territorial defense was. 
uh, rather than they would continue with a tradition with this tradition with the Slovenian territorial defense as I stated these are the people that were entitled to the weapons after the military service in Yugoslavia everybody was in the Yugoslav Federation everybody was obligated to serve in the military nobody was exempt from, from military service so in the transition from Yugoslavia, from the Yugoslav Federation, from the Serbian, from the greater Chetnik state Yugoslavia to the independent Slovenia, we had territorial defense and we had Slovenian police that defended us, our national integrity from Serbian aggression on us. That was a transition. It was a territorial defense, police in a newly independent established state however we still kept territorial defense and we also opened what was a military service for every Nabornik like we say a person male person after certain age after 18 whatever well because I insisted, as I was brought and drugged up to Slovenia for torture, for the sake of Chetniks, for the sake of Udba here in Slovenia, for the sake of Vladimir Putin, tortured, literally escorted by the Slovenian police, and tortured, beaten up, death threatened, drugged up, under drugged up status. And because I demanded from Slovenian people repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly to have territorial defense, territorial no Bramba, territorial defense, take their position against the police like this, because the police obviously is acting like criminals. This is not a police. These people violated the Constitution. They violated all the rights, international treaties, absolutely everything. They were at fault. And they were acting against me on behalf of those who we just have fought war against. And rather than they would assist me, they assisted those that we have fought war against. And they have disbanded first territorial defense and secondary also a military service, obligatory military service. So. The military would, the military conscripts instead would be reduced to professional uh, troops, which pledge their allegiance just like a police department to select a few people pro Serbian, pro Chetnik, pro Russian, Borat Pahor and Miran Kuchan, so that the justice would be killed absolutely on every. Uh, instance of the national uh, sovereignty so that it would not be so the police would not be charged they would not be uh, they would not be persecuted by any national organ they would not be due to justice to absolutely anybody they could just do unlimited crime whatever the fuck they would want to do for that matter I stated that I myself don't see myself as a Slovenian, as a part of this nation, not as a Slovenian. And that's just because I'm not worth less than anybody else in this country. I served the military in Slovenia. Everybody had to. And because of what was done to me it was done to me because the territorial defense because the obligatory military service was dismissed because it appealed to people enough they would not pursue their 
national duties which this country required from everybody. So they want to go and do their way, their way around. They don't pay any kind of solidarity with me. And because I feel that I am just as worthy as this people, just as worthy as this people, no less than other Slovenes, who, however, feel that they can get a way around like this, I stated that I don't consider myself as a Slovenian. I'm not part of this nation. I also do not recognize Slovenia as a sovereign, as a nation. Not as a sovereign nation, but as a nation. And it was this stuff, it appears to me, that touched. If I go back to this news here, about the permanent savings that touch somebody so badly in the nerves that it appears that they came out and they just for the hell couldn't restrain themselves from trying to intimidate with certain issues just so I'm giving you about how this garbage, this rude awakening. You see this this permanent daylight awakening Congress. I was thought it's gonna be because you are gonna end up inside of the psychiatric hospital for the rest of your life. You know, do you see this guy? You see this guy? That's exactly the picture. They sit me right in front of a computer and they insisted me that's what you're gonna be for the rest of your life. Rude awakening, permanent daylight saving time. America tried it before. America, oh my God, America. God bless America, amen, and it didn't go well. America, how America tried, my God. Unexpected approval registration to make a Senate, it was not a Congress, Senate to make a daylight saving time. Saving time, I'm gonna be fucking saving. America, now we're gonna be fucking saving. Ha <laughs> ha, now we are gonna be fucking saving. Huh? We're gonna be fucking saving now. You're gonna be fucking saving? Really? You're going to go to the fucking international court, the same like Slovenia. That's what the fuck is going to be like. I don't know where that video is about Obama. About that old bummer. That is a really old bummer. That's a bum. This is a bum. It's not a bum because he would be black. He is a bum. Because Obama acted on behalf of Buckingham Palace. He's not even Uncle Tom. He's not even worthy to be called Uncle Tom. Because he's way more criminal. And I don't know if that is not bad enough. Dwayne Johnson, Mike Tyson, and all the stars, blacks, Democrats especially, They run to Moscow, boy. They run to Belgrade like fucking crazy in 95, in 96, in 97. Because they wanted me dead. Next to me. They wanted dead everybody. They want dead Polacks, Czechs, Slovaks, Romanians, Hungarians, Ukrainians. They just like Russia and Serbia. Slovenians, Croats are fucking dead. Dead. We want you dead. You understand now why Obama is bad till 99. When Russians, London, Berlin, Washington, D.C. signed agreement with one another. And that was the agreement about cooperation 
also in Africa. And then you have the Moscow bombings. And then you have a 9-11. And then it started to get hot. And it started to get fucking hot. And they started to smoke. And all this cash for lies was still tempting enough to go on and to sell yourself some more. I bet this stuff is still going to go on. But it was people in other continents that smelled the rap. It was people elsewhere. They understood what goes on. But this is actually important for me because everybody's talking about Republicans, Republicans, Republicans. And you must have noticed on my website more than anywhere else that I kind of suggested that I might be the one that I just might be the one who's going to end this fucking Republican Party. Because guess what? I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like George Bush even less. I don't like this garbage. It's the garbage that started it all. But the truth must be known from all the sides because it's all the sides that are responsible for this shit. It's not only the Nazi shit. Guilty that Ukraine is paying today dearly for what you, as I stated earlier, what started with the COVID, it started already with other words elsewhere. You're going to be paying this shit already. You are paying now. And even more, you're going to be paying tomorrow. I have nothing against Obama. I have nothing against black people. But taking a little conscience in consideration and accept some responsibility even that financially you have profited so much it maybe would not be a, such a bad idea anyhow I see Ukrainian refugees in Holland. Gestured in front of black refugees from Africa, from Middle East, to make space for the European refugees. I'm not a member of this stuff. I see the black people coming from Africa to volunteer for the military service against the Russians in Ukraine. They fight alongside, that's exactly the article I was going to publish about a Nigerian guy here, and I will, in short. fucking bothers me that you come on my ass and you post a provocative article like this when you should be th thinking about tomorrow like sitting on your fucking electric chair having your brain smoke through your ears and nose Mr. Andrew Prince Andrew Mr. Charles Prince Charles because you didn't do crime only against me. I don't know really what the temperature is right now around the world. I told you about how these people get away and how and why do they get away. But it just could happen so that anytime soon somebody will come out and say, you know what, this guy is actually saying Actual, in actuality what took place and if that happens my god it really couldn't be me
this year. It just could be that somebody else is going to end up like this, or maybe even worse. Amazing that these people destroyed me 27 years of life, of which no less than 10 since 2012. It was an open war on me, a hunt, literally, through forceful hospitalizations with psychiatry. Yet, what do you want to call them, Republicans or liberals? This outlet here, uh -huh, this is called Yahoo. Let's open this article here. Bears. I just want to see the sign from the Yahoo. It should be right here in the top. That's right. They fucking dare to come up and bully with a stuff like this. Yeah. That's all I wanted to do for you, for this video. I want to log this down. The blue lights, the blue lights, they look blue. My mom yelled outside here in front of the garage if she wants me to call the, the ambulance vehicle. Huh? What the fuck, huh? That's a guts. A ruining somebody 10 years of life at age 85 saying like this to your son who is 50 years old I don't think it's hundred dollars I spend for the food every month I'm just saying because I think it's hundred and fifty dollars euros I should say they give people inside of the psychiatric hospitals, I think, just for buying themselves a cigarette. Yeah, you understand your fucking contribution to me? Because you live like a parasite in Slovenia at my expense. You ruined my life and I'm going to get you to the court and fuck you on that court, just as I'm going to do with United States of America, which citizen I also am. Don't pride yourself too much on ambulance vehicles, because you're not in a position to do stuff like this. Today is March 17, 2022.